Hello everyone, welcome to Mathematics Colio. I am Bhupinder. In this video, we will discuss an interesting problem of probability. And hero of this problem is Mr. Bat, whose habit is to hop around here and there. So let's read the question first. Mr. Bat is hopping around on vertices of a cube. Each minute, he hops from vertex he is currently on to the other vertex of an edge that he is next to. After 4 minutes, what is probability that he is back where he is started? So, I suggest you once pause the video, try this question yourself and then see the solution. This question we will do by two methods. Method 1, required probability. Okay. Now, we can assume that Mr. Bad is at any position. Let he is at O. What we want after four steps, he should be back at O. So, when he is at O, he has three possibilities. He can move towards A, he can move towards B and towards C. After reaching A, after reaching A, again he has three possibilities. He can move towards O, he can move towards F, towards F and towards D. These are the situations, right? Now, when he is at A, we will handle the case when from A he is moving O differently than when he will move either towards F or D. So let's calculate the probabilities. First of all, at O, he has three possibilities, three into, he has three possibilities, three into one by three, because whatever the direction he will choose, uh, probability for that is one by three, okay? Now, suppose he is at A, okay? Suppose he is at A, when he is at A, he has uh, two options, either three options in fact, either he will move, he will return back towards O or towards F or towards D. We will take the, we will handle the case when he will come back towards O differently than other two, okay. So probability that he is coming back one by three. Now after two steps he is at O, when again he is at O, he has three options, three possibility, he can go in any direction either towards A or towards B, towards C, probability of going in any direction is 1 by 3. Suppose he is going towards B, so after three steps he will be at B, he want to come back at O after four steps, so for that if he has he is at b to come back probability to come back at o probability is 1 by 3 so this is the case when he is uh, returning back from a second case when he is at a and going towards either f or d he has two options either f or d after one step suppose he is at d from d at D, he already consumed two steps and he want to reach at O after two steps. So at D, he has again two possibilities, two possibilities for third step, either he will go towards A or towards C. So two by three. Now, if he is, he is at A or at C, probability to go back at O is one by three. So this is the solution of question. Let's check what answer are we getting. 1 by 9 plus 4 by 27 which is equals to 7 by 27. This is first method. Method 2. Method 2 slightly uh, tough to think but it is smarter than method 1. What is that? We have to take here... Uh, that case which is not possible which we don't want what is that if i ask you where he should reach after three steps so that in fourth step he will not able to 
come back at O. What should be your answer? You will say after three steps, if he is at G, at fourth step, he can't come back at O. If he is at F, if he is at E, if he is at D. After three steps, if he is at any of these four positions, in fourth step, he cannot come back. But, but is it possible to reach at D after three steps? Let's check. First step, suppose first step he is uh, going towards A. After first step, he is at A. In second step, in two steps, he can reach at D. But in three steps, is it possible that he will reach D? Just a minute, O to A, A to F, D, no, it is not possible. So, D, E and F are having similar positions. So, after three steps, it is not possible that he will reach either D or F or E. Okay. Now, check for G. Is it possible that after three steps, he will be at D? Let's check. If from O, he is moving towards A, then F, then G. Yes, it is possible. What is probability to reach at G? C. From O, he has three options. Suppose he is going towards A. Okay. After A, he has two options. Suppose he is going towards F. After F, to reach G, only one option. Okay, only one option. So, this is the probability that after three steps, he is reaching at G. He is not able to reach at D, E, F at any cost after three steps. Now, if in the end of three steps, he is at G, what is probability that he will be at O in fourth step? Zero. Means if he reach at G after three steps, he cannot come back to O in fourth step. So this is the probability which we don't want. We don't want this probability. Why? Because we want we want him to come back at O after four steps. Okay. So he should not be at G. So the probability which I am writing one minus three times whatever the expression uh, we are getting one minus this. This is the probability that he is not at G. Now, after three steps, he is not at G. He cannot at D. He cannot at E. He cannot at F. Okay. It means he is either A or B or C. So, what is the probability from these three points? What is the probability he will come back to O in fourth step? It is 1 by 3. Let's check the answer. It is 3, 3. It is 2 by uh, to 9, 7, 7 by 27, which is same in previous, uh, uh, what we get in previous method. Okay. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like the video and subscribe the channel. Bye-bye for now.